Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. No, um, if I said no, I wasn't looking forward to it. You'd be questioning my sanity. So yeah, of course, looking forward. I can't wait. But there are those of us who would have the trepidation about playing Dublin. But I get the feeling from this camp, you're not too concerned about that. You're going to play your own game. Yeah, we're going to just play our own game. We've done a lot of training over the last couple of months. Really put in hard work, and you know, we've great, uh, great management system in there. You know, we're really surrounded by great people. So, uh, you know, everyone's looking forward to it. You know, like since you broke into the team as well, like you've, you've had a lot of Leinster defeats. It must feel great this summer to have three wins behind you already. Yeah, I've often talked to lads in college and in Dublin lads as well, saying that uh, you know it's disappointing that you're training so hard and so long, and you know you might get a couple of championship games. So yeah, we really are um, loving it this summer, to be honest with you. And we're growing as each game goes on. And I think uh, you know the Westmead people can see that as well, and they're going to come out and support us on Sunday as they did against me. You know. You're really getting behind you. I heard talk of 10, 15,000 tickets sold around the county already, and we're still a few days away from the game. I mean, it's great to get that kind of support, isn't it? Yeah, sure, they love it. You know what I mean? There's, they're great supporters. They're, uh, when things are going well, it's hard to get behind the team when things aren't going great, but you know, things are going well for us this year, and you know, they're going to come out in their colours. Quite a change from where you were at the end of the league. You know, you were all very disappointed with how things have gone. You were relegated down to Division 3. Um, at that point, did you ever think that you know, you'd be talking to the media five days out from a Leinster final? Uh, league and championship are completely different, you know, at the moment, and um, a lot of talk has been put in about changing that format and you know having the league have more emphasis on the championship. Um, yeah, we, we always that was our goal. You know, our goal was to get promoted at the start of the year and, and get to a Leinster final, and we've done them, and now we have reset our goals. You know, we set targets again, and um, I have to keep them in house, of course, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Duffy wouldn't let wouldn't like them going out. Um, but yeah, it's just great, and we, we you know pick things up and. As I said already, we had great people in amongst us, great captain Jerry Egan and all the players, positive lads and you know, really dragging it through, you know. Because I remember when you were in UCD you did a documentary piece uh, about burnout and so on. One of the things you said was that it was a killer that you trained for nearly ten months and the next thing you're out early in the championship and you're facing back to club and all that hard work nearly doesn't feel worth it if you only get one or two championship games in the summer. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, um I say a lot of lads talk about burnout when they're not doing well and when they're not mm -hmm. winning things and you know, when you're not getting the opportunity to play in Crow Park and stuff like this, but I tell you one thing, there's no West Mead player talking about burnout, you know, this year, you know, and we could train morning, noon and night and you know, there'll be no talk about burnout when you're getting the opportunity to play in Lancer Finals and play in Crow Park, you know, that hard work mm. pays off, you know. I think um, the picture's probably told a thousand words after that you put that goal in against me. The massive relief, massive excitement, it must have felt un incredible when you saw the net ripple. Yeah, it was uh Picture a bit funny, all right. I probably wouldn't <laughs> turn around and jump like that, no. But uh, no, it's great. And uh, as I said to a lad, the mark today, pictures really sum up the emotion that's felt. You know, you can talk and you can try and describe it, but the old saying, the picture tells a thousand words, really sums it up. Mm. That day. Must have been sweet enough for you to be able to go back to work and maybe not have to take the ribbon you would have taken if you'd been beaten. Yeah, it took a lot of ribbon the week coming up to the game, to be honest with you, because uh, I'm doing a PhD and it's a lot out in the farmyard and there's boys there carrying sticks and they were trying to injure me coming up to the game, but uh, now walking up the uh, Monday morning now they're all shaking hands and hugs and delight free and fair play and they're all supporting us against the dubs now as well. Since you were 16 or 17, I think every lad around the county here had an opinion on where John Heston should play on a team. Or, like is 14 somewhere that just suits you now, do you think that's your best position in the county wise? Um, yeah, I, I just enjoy playing in there, like you know what I mean. Um, like trying to get the scores, and I think that's I look. I play wherever it suits the team, and just being contention with starting on the team is good enough for me. You know, I'll, um, I'll play wherever I'm asked, and I'll try and do the job as best as I can. I suppose the only thing is if you catch a ball close to goal, you're close to getting a shot away, which is nice. You don't have to work it further out the field. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, when you catch the ball in close to the goal, I tell you, you have the bear Martin running off your shoulder. <laughs> Roaring at you rather than calling for the ball, so uh, yeah, it's you know you're in close to the goal, whatever, and just whatever I'm asked to do, I'll try and do it. Thomas Selection calls to make it as to where the bear is going to be up alongside you or not, but um, himself and Dempsey seem to dovetail off quite nicely. You've set up a nice little partnership there with the boys. Yeah, look, everyone's playing together. That's the thing this year. You know, everyone's really uh, giving a helping hand. Um, and as Glennon came off the bench the last day and just you know had a serious impact, and he just doesn't get the praise that he deserves. Like he was winning balls there around the middle of the field. Which is something we haven't seen Dennis do in a couple of years, and um, who knows, Dennis could be starting centre back the next day. God knows, Tom has all these headaches, and uh, you know, like to Paul Gravel came in there, made a massive difference. Jamie Gnu, these are all, these are all good lads. You know, it's great, great to have it. It's a great panel you have at the moment. I think guys have come in uh, since the start of the championship, which is rare compared to other counties where usually guys are dropping off. It's only Jason Ryan last weekend. He's saying, "Oh, can there guys going during the championship? You've been bringing guys in." Yeah, you know, it was great. Uh, we've got Dennis Croom back in there, and he's a, you know, he's a huge person to bring back in. 
um, both for his uh, personality and his ability and it really has uh, created a good buzz there and um, it's important with a group to keep adding new things to it, new dimensions, both training and, and personnel and that's, that's what Tom and, and Jerry and everyone else has been able to do this year. And they've given a chance to lads coming in like Killian Daly this year, like Paddy Holloway and they've become key parts of your team. Yeah, they're great lads, you know, and um, we've all learned a bit off them this year, you know. Uh, when you're first year in a senior and county team, you really are living for it, you know. You, you can't wait for everything, you know, you're waiting for it all. And they are uh, they're really have been an inspiration to everyone else there because, you know, like anything else, if things aren't going your way, especially after last year, things might get a bit stale, you know, you lost uh, all your games, like, and then these lads come in and with a little bit of a buzz and, you know, have Baidu added into the panel this year as well. and. You know, just after the league and you know after his leaving start, and he's been a he's been a great buzz around there. Justin Barr from Gary Castle, these lads are all flying around and that's the final for them first year, and it's great, like you know. And I imagine the experience for those guys is going to be huge as well, because most of them are like 17, 18, 19. Look, they mightn't get a, a kick of a championship ball, but they're away with you at camp. They're going up to Crow Park. They're getting the whole experience. Yeah, they're getting the whole experience is right, and the most important thing is is that. This, let this be the start for them and that they know what to expect and they can demand these things like you know we they have set standards now do you know just let this be the standard that we have to reach and, and move on from there because it's a young team and we're going out everyone wants to improve and do better and just try and win as much as we can like so hopefully we can do that i think it was jerry's facebook i saw him this week but he put up a picture of the under 21 final where he played leinster or played uh, dublin and uh, that leinster final at parnell park quite a lot of your group have come through in one go john yeah, I haven't seen that picture, I actually might have a look at it, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, that's right, quite a lot have gone through and you know, that's that's part and parcel of it and that's what makes us a great team, we have a good bond there, lads enjoy the crack, like you really enjoy going down to train and we train extremely hard, there's no doubt about that, no one can question that, but we enjoy the crack and we enjoy each other's friendship and you know, the atmosphere is good. I'd like to see your former captain Kieran Gavin is here again tonight and yeah, he had a, a nightmare year after the ligaments went and he had to wait a long time to come back. It must be great to have him back around a real leader in the camp as well. Yeah, Kieran Gavin has a, you know, he's invaluable around the place because his voice and you know his communication are second to none. He's a great experience there with DCU, you know, Sigerson captain and you know, he's a great man. Um and it's amazing what being back out on the pitch can do to a person off the field as well. Uh He's uh, a lot happier now being back out playing because it's very hard to just keep training and watching all the other lads mm -hmm. train and play games. So, uh, yeah, it's great and exciting to have him back. You're a confident young man, John. Do you reckon you can do it at the weekend? Yeah, don't doubt it at all. You know, we, uh, we have a great team there, both players and management. Um, I don't think we could ask for anything else. So, we're going to go and give it our best shot. Final note in terms of, you mentioned uh, Dennis Glennon being, you know, and he has had some key roles off the bench in the two games he's been here for. If you look at himself and Gary going back 11 years on from lifting the trophy, it's a magnificent achievement for those two guys to still be around, isn't it? Yeah, the boys were saying during the week that uh, they've been around a long time and, you know, if one of them tries to lift a cup, they might need a hand with it because they're getting that old. So, you know, it's great to have them back around and, yeah, hopefully we can get a second answer championship. Look, John, the very best look to you in the team of the weekend. All right, well, thank you.